So you wanna to learn to code at 30, but you're wondering, is it just too late? The coding job market is starting to shrink and what's left AI will probably replace in a few years anyway, right? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you why learning to code at 30 is actually the best decision you can make and probably not for the reasons that you think. It's the question I get asked a lot. I'm 30 years old, in debt, and I have an idea for an app. Should I quit my day job and learn to code? And when you jump over to X, you'll notice an interesting trend. Lots of self-taught 17-year-olds creating their own SaaS products and apps, seemingly generating thousands, some even generating millions. It can make you feel old and a bit late to the party. But think about it like this. A 17-year-old builds for curiosity while you're building to solve real problems that you've actually lived through. And at 30 years old, you've probably been through quite a lot. And your life experiences give you insights that 17 year olds just don't have. And let me just remind you, a 17 year old today was born in 2008. That was the year the iPhone was released and iOS wasn't even called iOS. It was called iPhone OS 2.0. This was the first version of the iPhone that included the App Store, a marketplace for building, sharing, and distributing your apps. Well, before App Store optimization even existed, people would just make a silly little app, list it on the App Store for a few bucks, and make thousands of dollars. There was a whopping 500 apps on the App Store in 2008, with no AI to help build them. Instead, things were done the old fashioned way. Now there's over 1.8 million apps and that number keeps growing. But Adam, you're making a video about why it's not too late to start coding at 30. Why are you telling me now how saturated the app store is? Okay, I get your point. In 2008, Apple was worth $37.4 billion. Now it's worth $3 trillion. And in 2022, Apple reported that App Store developers generate $1.1 trillion in total billings and sales. That's over 30% of what Apple's entire net worth is. So while there are a lot more apps in the App Store, this shows that there's a lot more demand than ever before from consumers. And this opens an opportunity for app developers, including those who have never coded before, and especially those with over 30 years of life experience. At 30, you've got a lot more clarity, discipline, and focus than you did at 20 years old. You're not just building something for the sake of it, you're building something with purpose. And you're not too late, you're just ready. You've got the scars, you've got the grit, you've got the hunger, and that makes you dangerous in the best kind of way. I'm 41, and I started learning to code apps when I was 38. I'm a father of five with very limited time. I went from mowing lawns to building apps, first in my spare time, then as the business grew, I went all in. My prior company had collapsed and I was over $200,000 in debt. My cars were repossessed and I had debt collectors calling me non-stop. It was the lowest point of my life. I was a slave to the debt and I felt like I would just, I would have to work my entire life just to get ahead again. Little did I know that just four years later, my little app development business would be generating six figures. And I'd not only be debt free, but I would be thriving. And it was all thanks to learning how to code apps later in life. The first app I built, an app for managing lawn mowing businesses. It handled the invoicing, it handled the customer records, and even plotted my best mowing routes. Check out that happy ending. You should totally be convinced to learn to code now, right? Well, not quite. The app wasn't actually a huge hit. It generated some decent revenue, but not enough to actually quit my job. And I had some prior coding experience, so I wasn't exactly starting from a blank slate. And what about AI slowly replacing jobs of programmers, the widespread tech layoffs, and the ever decreasing job market? Oh yeah, that. 
Learning how to code in 2025 is a very different story from learning to code just a few years ago. I've never been employable as a programmer and I've never had a proper programming job. So I can't speak for learning to code to change careers and, and find a job. It's just something that I don't have experience with. Luckily, there's an entirely new path which you may not have even considered becoming an independent developer. And this is what I have extensive experience with. Think building your own products, doing your own marketing, and generally just following your own passions and your own dreams. Becoming an independent developer gives you the freedom of working on the projects you want to work on with the possibility of creating an entire lifestyle business. A single successful SaaS or a single successful app can pay your rent, it can pay down all of your debt, or it can completely change the trajectory of your entire life. People have done this time and time again. All you need, a sprinkle of life experience and a lot less coding than you may actually think. But don't quit your day job just yet. At 30, you may be considering throwing it all away, going all in on apps. Perhaps you have the next big idea, or you see how easy other people online seem to make it. Don't fall for the hype. A sensible approach is to start accumulating the skills you need to learn to code, not the full technical stuff, but at least enough to start building your own products. Being an independent developer is a lot easier to get started than learning the skills required to be employed as a programmer. And the best part, you can start right away. Like literally, you can stop what you're doing and you can start right now. There's plenty of resources available online. Go check out courses like Shipfast by Mark Lau, Codecademy and Udemy, or better yet, Start deep diving into all the free content available right here on YouTube. If you want me to do a video on choosing the right time to quit your day job, let me know. I think there's a lot to explore on this topic.